Here we have a picture of uh, nephrotic syndrome, and the O, because it's nephrotic, represents the increased capillary wall permeability. You've got a sneaky fox here, it's insidious onset, it sneaks up. Proteinuria, so you've got hot dogs and steak protein. This leads to uh, hyperlipidemia, generalized edemia, lipiduria, so it has to do with lipids, uh, al hypoalbuminemia, and what happens with lipiduria is you can get um, a Maltese cross appearance under polarized light. So some, if that, that's mentioned, that's part of nephrotic syndrome. Complications can be Fanconi syndrome. You also have things like uh, hypercoagulability, or the red blood cells are sticking together. Protein malnutrition, so it's dropping of the protein. Acute renal failure, you get that crossing off of the, the kidney. You get reduced um, IgG, so it's being stomped on, and uh, vitamin D deficiencies or trace mineral deficiencies, so you're stepping on that. Those are complications. Up here in the top left-hand corner, you have SLE. This is a lupus nephropathy, and there's five distinct histological patterns, so it's kind of complicated, but the, the first type, one, is normal, so you just check mark. There's nothing wrong there. Type two is a mesangial form, as yes, you get the messy angel. It's uh, type uh, three is uh, is focal proliferative, so you got focal, and the type four is the diffuse, and that's the one that causes the wire loop appearance. Uh, you also can get um, endothelial cell proliferation on electron mis microscopy, and um, in immunofluorescence, you get the subendothelial immune complex. So these are immune complexes. Type 5 is like uh, the membranous form. It's similar to membranous glomerulonephritis, which we get to next. Type 1 and 2, um, there are no, there's no treatment, but 3, 4, and 5, you're going to look at aggressive immunosuppression, corticosteroids, cyclophosphamide, azathioprine, uh, chlorambucil. Uh, so that's what you're going to look at uh, with those. Um, Really, the the renal lesion severity often determines the overall prognosis for uh, SLE patients. Membranous, glomerulonef membranous glomerulonephritis is adults only. Uh, you've got this this cap here. You've got this capillary thickening, so thick capillary walls, and uh, you're going to get immune complex disease. It's really kind of an unknown etiology. It's seen in 10% of SLE patients, which you're kind of talking about, associated with infections like hepatitis B, uh, syphilis, malaria. Also going to be drugs like gold salts, or penicillamine, or captopril. Uh, in, under light microscopy, you're going to see diffuse capillary wall thickening and basement membrane thickening, but not inflammation. Immunofluorescence, you're going to see a granular pattern of IgG and C3, and that's that lumpy bumpy with the uh, immunofluorescence. Electron microscopy, you're going to see electron-dense immune complex deposition in sub-epithelial locations. Um, and now the silver methionine is what's down here, a spike and dome appearance resulting from extension of basement membrane uh, between and around immune deposits. So you've got spikes are the basement membrane, the domes are immune complex de de deposits. It's accompanied by azotemia, which is excess uh, um, nitrogen, uh, complications include renal vein thrombosis, uh, cyclophosphamide and ACE inhibitors uh, can help uh, with treatment. The ACE inhibitors reduce urinary protein loss. Transplantation is a treatment. Uh, it's a slowly progressive disorder that uh, shows little response to steroid therapy. So, um, it's a common cause of adult nephrotic syndrome. Focal segmental. So you've got this focus. It's focused on here. Focal segmental. The bow is adhered to the capillary tuft. It kind of tells you where the capillary tuft is. It's associated with heroin-associated nephropathy. So Han, Han is hanging out. Han the hero is there. Uh, you've got the hyena or hyaline thickening or hyaline. And segmental sclerosis. And under light microscopy, the sclerosis form shows the, the IgM so over here it's IgG and over here it's IgM. Under electron microscopy, it's, uh, you're going to see the, the foot uh, um, fusion 
epithelial foot processes, fusion, so IgM, C3, um, hyaline thickeners, thickening or hyalinosis. Um, it's got a segmental distribution in the in the uh, glomeruli, and uh, the treatment's prednisone. And most people progress to end stage renal disease in three to five to ten years, but uh, so that's something. It's associated with heroin use, morbid obesity, HIV infection. Now, minimal change disease mainly for young children. Kind of unknown etiology, but uh, usually follows an upper respiratory infection. So it's also associated, associated with Hodgkin's disease. Here's Hodgkin lymphoma. Hog, hog, hog is leaving home. And it's seen, it can occur, it occur in older children or adults, but you're only gonna see, mostly going to see it in young children. Under light microscopy, the light being shown up there, you're going to see normal peering of glomeruli, but you're going to see lipid accumulation in the renal, renal tubular cells. And electron microscopy, you're going to see the fusion of the epithelial foot processes. And this is caused by T-cell derived cytokines um, to visceral and epithelial. It's a nephrotic syndrome, that's what we're talking about. And complications include infection by gram positive organisms, thromboembolism, protein malnutrition. Treatment is prednisone. Response is excellent here. Cyclophosphamide or uh, chlorambucil is used for steroid resistant cases. And um, it's kind of the prototype of nephrotic syndrome. Diabetic nephropathy. It's associated with long standing diabetes. Diabetes 1, uh, after about 20 years, 30 to 40 percent of people are going to have it. After 20 years, um, are at type 2 diabetics, uh, about 20 percent. But there's a lot more type 2 diabetics, so there's a lot more people um, type 2 diabetes progressing to end stage renal disease. There's a higher risk of developing diabetic nephropathy among men, African Americans, and Native Americans with diabetes. Under light microscopy, you see increased in uh, mesangial matrix. I don't have it down here, but uh, but the, another thing is you're going to see diffuse, diffusely distributed increase in mesangial matrix or nodular um, glomerular sclerosis, which are also chem called chem chemo steel Wilson nodules, KW. That is a diffuse distributed increase in mesangial matrix or nodular glomerular sclerosis. Nodular, so it's nods, nodular. Okay, under electron microscopy, you're going to see an increase in glomerular basement membrane thickening. Um, you're going to see microalbuminemia, uh, which is the early sign, and proteinuria is the late sign. S strict glycemic control, treatment of hypertension, uh, can slow the progression. Progressive end stage regional disease and dialysis. So keep those things in mind.